Yo guys, what is up? It is Comic Karma here. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. Darrow 20. Oh yeah. I'm just here, picking my garden, you know, doing my daily chores, turning night. I don't like night. Gonna eat some food. What the hell? When was that there? Is that always there? That was a big tree. Man, my guy's real hungry. Wow, that was good. We're not hungry anymore. We're extremely full now, actually. Get some more just in case for the night. Got a blueberry bush now. It's pretty good. Alright. So anyway, what are we doing today? Uh, to start off with, I'd like to expand this a little bit. Um, it's a little bit small. I'm not going to lie. and It's kind of, kind of in the way. Trying to maybe make a better room for it probably it's kind of you know not in the best spot right now uh probably gonna make like an actual proper place for it now that i think about it because i don't really want it sitting in my house right now ain't nobody got space for that and we have other plans for this house right now oh dang it well that was almost perfect there we go all right, now that's perfect. So, yeah, to do that, you gotta go, you gotta go get some stuff. You guys know the drill. Uh, do we have stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna need to grab some gravel and grab blah blah. Uh, just, just need to get you know the basic grout stuff. You know that stuff, the the sand, gravel. And clay. So I'm gonna grab that real quick, and then when I come back, we're gonna make some grout, cook it in our new uh, powered furnace, because you already know we ain't using no coal no more. Coal is pretty much useless at this point, other than for like other machines that can't use power. Yeah, the, I don't know. We'll see. Oh crap, that is a lot of mobs. Holy crap, I'd, I'd like to kill you guys all. Though. Alrighty, I'm getting teleported under. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, that is really fun. It's an interesting turn of events here. Alright, that's a nice cave, I guess. I'm gonna walk through it real quick, see if it has any ore berry bushes. It has a beehive. Alright, let's, let's come here. There we go. Marble. Oh, that's an Enderman. Oh, wow. Where'd he go? Kind of like to kill him. What the hell, man? So crazy turn of offense. We have gravel here. Kind of on track, I guess. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna try and kill this Enderman, collect some stuff, and like I said, I'll be right back, and we can make, um, Tinker's Construct building real quick, because, uh, that's not gonna be the main focus of this video, hopefully. I don't really actually know what we're doing. I'm gonna come up with something. I think we might look at AE2, because, even though I don't like it, it's necessary. Um, because I am not about to live with 10 million chests all over the place. Even barrels I won't live with. So, yeah, we're going to probably get started on that. In the meantime, we've got some collecting to do. So, yeah, see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, so I got our grout, and uh, I had to fight through a little bit of some hordes of monsters, you know, normal daily stuff. But right now, I'm working on some upgrades here. So, if you guys have noticed, we have these little... Slots here in the machines. Uh, so basically those are for upgrades and I'm about to make tier 2 upgrade. Man, 2, 2, it's just tier 2. It's our, that's that's what we've been doing this whole entire season. So I was like, why not? So th we're going to make this double layer capacitor. Uh, we need to first make that. So we actually need to get some stuff. Uh, I'm going to need, I think, 4. 
and golden nuggets, which I don't know. There we go, golden nuggets and redstone. Actually, Let's grab a bunch. We're making two: one for our furnace, and one for our, the other thing. One, two, three. Oh, we actually need more. Gold nuggets, I think, and copper. Grab that. Make the gold nuggets. Go in here. One more. What? What am I missing? Is it two redstone? It is two redstone. Close enough. You can't give me like a deal. I'm buying four of them. Alright, and then boom. Now we got two. Hooray. So we're going to come down here. I need to make this look better. I'll make it look better soon. Anyway. Throw one in there. As you guys can see, this just changed the power. And it's also a lot faster, as you guys can probably tell. We're going to throw one in here too, though. So... Now I can grab all that and throw all our grout in, and it's super speed. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Smelts three at a time. We're all good. All good. All right. So we got this. What else can we do with these? An attractor. Experience rod. I don't know what a lot of these are. Photoval. I'm not, not even going to try. And, yeah. We can use it to make these. What are these for, though? Oh, these are for the third tier. And they're used in ender fluids. Um, oh. Oh! Alright, we need more ender pearls. Oh, sweet. We got a crap ton, actually, already. Boom. Alright, so we got some more stuff, as you guys can probably tell. Smeltery, really? Why am I getting all these achievements? I got, I got Monster Hunter again. Like, what? I've killed, like, 10 million mobs already. What you talking about? Alright. So, got a decent amount, actually. Alright, so let's get up here. Should be day by now, I think. Uh, so, I want to make a little Tinker's Construct looking place, right? Not like season twos, because season two, if you got anyone remember season two, not not the best season. Ended really shortly, actually. Um, but anyway, we kind of want to do something similar with uh, the Tinker's Construct sort of room and the building, and it didn't really work like I kind of wanted it to. It was kind of an ugly building, to say the least, um, so... We might not even go with a building. Let's just go with a basic one. I'm going to go grab some seared bricks. Because I think I'm going to go with a 4x4. Four four. And that should be pretty nice. 4x4. Four four. That's going to be 16 just for the floor. Hopefully we got enough. Take half of that. Half of that again, I guess. There we go. Whatever. Just make all of them. So, we're going to be able to do a 4x4 four four probably. Should we just stick with a 3x3? Three three? Yeah, let's just stick with a 3x3. Three three, basic 3x3. Three three. Let's make it somewhere like over here. Eventually, we're probably going to move it again. For now, though, should be a nice place. So we gotta start with the three base. Boom, boom, boom. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want to get some more advanced econ tools going soon. So drain controller tank. So drain controller tank. No tank. And now we got a fully working smeltery. And we're gonna throw here. That and our boom, we got this working up again. And this is three by three. Now we can smelt up to nine and not two. And 
just because we'll just do this for the looks because I don't have enough to make another new story I guess whatever um so that's that now I'm also going to take all of this I'm gonna grab a little bit of some iron here tap into our iron supply probably gonna need to go mining again not the most exciting thing but anyway we're going to fix this up real quick one sec uh what's it called tool forge no tool station no tool yeah this is tool forge so we're gonna take iron we're gonna go one two three four man that hurts that hurts my wallet but anyway, oh crap, we need three seared bricks actually. Let me dump some stuff off real quick. Go away, go away, go away, go away. I'm coming back for you seared bricks. Give me that. Did I grab that? Three, that's two. There we go. We got three. Alright, so this tool forge is going to allow us to make us some more advanced tools. So there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get to that this episode. Because um, I want to do something else. But probably in the next one we're going to work on getting some better tools going. Um, because I'm getting a little bit bored of these basic tools right now. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's that's fine. All right, everything's good again. All right, so I'm gonna uh, clear out my inventory and get ready for our next project. So I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. Hey, so in my little adventure for trying to find something for our next project, we have run into something for our next next project, AE2. So this is a meteor. We're going to need to find at least like 10 more of these. And then we can actually do AE2. So I'm going to have to mine through this right now. Probably not going to make you guys watch it. Uh, but there's a chest in the middle. And this chest is containing something very important. And I almost made myself not mine that block. But yeah, that chest has something I need. So I got to mine through this thing right now. Get to that chest. Um, so, yeah, we're almost there, I'll, I'll just show you guys. So, like I said, this is AE2. Uh, so I, I went out adventuring to try and find a rubber tree for MFR, Mine Factory Reloaded, um, because our next project is going to be a automatic tree farm. Um, now, I am not one to waste time and go chop down trees. There we go, we got to it. Letting guts, I can care less. That's what I want. Need three more. Um, but anyway, so our next project is going to have to be a Amafar tree farm. Um, just because I think it will save us so much time. And there's probably one over there. So uh, with that, we're going to be able to automatically harvest and plant trees. And get a bunch of saplings. Get a bunch of trees. And there it is, there it is right there. Uh and I just need one of these um, so I'm also this is also going to help us build up a nice internal storage of sludge and stuff like that which we'll later use um, I'm gonna probably keep the tree farm running overnight so we can get generate a nice amount of wood and all that sort of stuff but anyway well, let's head back to the base so I can show you guys what we're going to do with this. So first of all, I'm going to plant these trees just out here. Just in case we need more. But anyway, what we were after is this rubber right here. The raw rubber. So with this, what we're going to do, we're going to run down to our little basement area. And we are just going to throw... Oh, wow, I had more. Didn't really know that. Throw them there. That's going to cook up into 
rubber bars. What I what do I do with these rubber bars? Throw back in. One more time. And raw plastic. That's what we're after. With that, plastic sheets. This is what we are needing. So, with this, we're going to need to make two machines. A planter and a harvester. So, let me throw some stuff in here real quick. Uh, there we go. So... Let's first of all make a harvester. We're gonna need some stuff here. I'm just gonna grab like a stack of everything so I don't have to keep running back and forth. A stone. I hope we have enough of everything. That's my main fear. Not having enough of everything. Uh anything else I wanna take with me? Let's take cobblestone. I'll take glass too. And we have wood. Right, where did I throw all that wood? I just chopped down a bunch. Whatever, we can use that. There we go. Alright, so harvesters. We're going to need two of these. Did I not grab iron? Did I throw iron somewhere? Yeah, it did. No, not that gear. That's the gear. One, two, make two of those. And shears. Two of you. One of these. Ten gear. We're gonna need two of these. Just gonna make those right away. And those are the plastic sheets. We're gonna need one of these. And boom, we got our harvester. Uh, we're probably going to manual manually have to do this because there's some stuff in there that's uh, non-stackable. Shears. Throw those like that. Um, what else was it? Redstone reception. Oh, I didn't make the Envar X. Do I have Envar? Oh, crap. You know, why isn't this crafting table like a good crafting table? Be a good crafting table. There we go. I do have in there. That's nice. Save my butt. Holy crap. Okay, and now it's going to do this. I need sticks. Boom, boom. Alright, let's get this done real quick. Don't want to spend too much time crafting stuff. Not the most... Entertaining thing, I'd say. I don't know. I don't know, though. Maybe you guys like watching me craft. I don't really think so, though. Do, do, do. Envar. X. Boom. You go there, and that goes there, and I'm... What? Oh my god. I am all over the place today. Alright. Let's try. I'll get it this time. There we go. Alright, we got our harvester. Now we need a planter. Hopefully this one isn't as painful. Another one of these. Uh, two of these. A pot, really? Like, when the hell do you ever need a pot? Hmm. Need three of that. Alright, let me get all this crafted up real quick. And I'll be back with you guys once I have everything set up. Alright guys, I have done quite a bit of some work. Um, hopefully I can fill you guys in. I didn't want to go too overboard. But basically, if you're wondering where we are, we're down here. Uh, I just, basically for the tree farm, we need a way of connecting the power. So I decided, why not build the room right here? 
So not only is this going to be a tree farm, eventually we can extend it out there, make it a little bit more of just like a regular farm area for a bunch of MFR stuff. So let me fill you guys in to what I did. So right here we got the planter. This is going to have dirt on top of it. Then we just have the harvester here. Of course we have our power coming from over here. So I had to make a bunch of cables and stuff like that. Um, we have item conduits right here. Uh, which were kind of annoying to make. Um, but I eventually got them. They required like an ender pearl and stuff. Um, so now all that's left to do is just configure this correctly. Um, so I'm just going to... Just no fix that. You need to go back. All right. So I do not know how to actually configure this. I wanted to extract active without signal. Signal color sure. Round robin disable extract. Well, I wanted it to extract the wood. Here, I made a barrel here. What I want to happen here, though, is I'm going to put this barrel right here. And this, you are going to insert. So insert. Priority, priority. Uh, let's let's get this set up. Actually, let's go grab some dirt and a piece of oak wood. Hopefully, so basically, there's upgrade for the Amafar machine. I'm just gonna stick with a regular three by three for now because we don't really need that much wood. I just want to get like a basic wood farm going, uh, so it's not like a problem anymore. So we're gonna need to get nine dirt. Uh, let's see, do we have a piece of oak wood or we have bones? Hold, wait, I just thought of something. How are these trees going to grow? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Forgot about growing. Let's shave off a wall. <laughs> I think if it has this wall back and probably this pushed up by two maybe can probably grow I'd assume you can get like a really small trees though this picks also breaking on me I need to go mining I'm completely out of iron so once this pick breaks then we're done working on this for now at least Which it's almost broken. Has like a few more uses left, and then it's done. All right, so I'm just gonna clear this out here. Hope some trees can maybe grow. All right, if I place the tree here. Will you grow? Hmm. Not willingly. Alright, looks like we're going to maybe need to do a little bit of some force bone meal. Oh, there goes the pick. Alright, let's see if we can get this tree growing. Just so I can say that the farm is working. So we can end the episode. I'm going to get this done this episode. Alright, let's see. No, go down the ladder. Go down it. The last episode was like 45 minutes. I did not mean it to get that long. Alright. Really? Still not? Alright, let me work on this a little bit. And I'll come back with you guys in a little bit. Might need to do some working. And I'm a little bit tired, so... Probably going to work on this tomorrow, but don't worry. Episode's not done yet, so I'll see you guys later. 
All right, guys, so we are here. I finally figured this whole thing out. So first of all, you guys have probably noticed I'm in creative mode right now, but I'm just doing this so I can demonstrate th this to you guys real quick. Uh, anyway, this basement has changed a lot. So I ended up having to expand this whole entire room, and we have a lot of stuff here. And um, the, the point is, is this finally works. So let me explain what's going on here. So like I said, we got the harvester pointed like this at a 3x3 three three because this is the basic uh, harvesting and planting range without any upgrades, which we're not going to get into for a while because this room isn't that big and I don't really think I need a big tree farm yet. But anyway, so we got the harvester over here. We have a planter down here with, with saplings. And then basically, once a tree grows, so like this, I'll just give you guys a quick example. Tree grew. That's going to chop it. Wood's going to get chopped down, sent to this barrel. Saplings get chopped, get set down here. And that's basically how that works. Of course, we have the power coming from over here. Not the prettiest thing. Uh, might try and like loop this around somehow. Probably going to need to make maybe a little bit more energy conduits. But that's fine. So, yeah, we have these item conduits. Um... And then those are just sending like that. And that's basically how it works. So I think it's a pretty cool tree farm. I just want to be able to show you guys. Um, so that's basically the design. Uh, now what I want to do though. Is I want to work on a little bit of designing this basement. Uh, so I just made some stone bricks. Because I think we're going to use this. As well as some of these. And try and come up with a little bit of a design here. Um, so right now the basement not looking the best. Just has a bunch of stone everywhere. And now we have this huge tree farm in the middle of it. So, you know. It's not even even from the looks of it. Yeah, it's not even even. Not even even, man. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try and come up with a little design here. Uh try and make this look a little bit better so i don't have these coming out of the wall and everything like that so let me work out like a little bit of design and i'll come back and show you guys what i've done man i cannot agree on something so i think you guys all remember this the marvel <laughs> but i don't think it fits the theme though like marble's pretty okay there's a lot of different options we can go with using marble from chisel like like, this can, we can just throw these around, like, a little bit. Add, like, a little bit of, like, you know, a flare or whatever. But, like, there's so many different options. Like, I don't know if I want to use this type of marble. Like, you know, like, I can go with, like, a bunch of different combinations using it. So, I don't think we're going to even use the project. Or, the pro yeah, the Project Red Explor uh, Exploration. Man, Exploration? Yeah, really good. So I don't even think we're going to use this, unfortunately. I just placed down the whole entire floor. But I have a lot of mining and stuff to go do because I need to go find a lot more marble. And then this pick isn't holding up very well, so while I cave, I need to mine some iron as well. Because this cave, this pick, it's about to break. So I think we're going to end this episode here. I'm going to come back in the next episode. And we're going to hopefully be able to work a little bit more down here. Um... I want to get a little bit of a more nice looking house. Because to be honest right now, this house is kind of ugly. Not going to lie. So it's a little bit ugly. I'd like to change it a lot. And to give you an update on these berries, they're going pretty well. They're going to make a nice fence soon. And then we're going to be like trapped. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. I got to go caving. Probably going to do a little bit of that off camera. Um... And I might work on a little bit of some stuff downstairs. Try and come up with a little bit of a design. In the meantime, guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys later. Peace.